Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to review one of the most powerful screen recorder which also comes with inbuilt video editor. This application is Demo Creator from Wondershare. It is available on both Windows and Mac OS and can be downloaded for free. Using this application we can record our presentation, training courses, video tutorials and even our games with high quality screen recordings. Using this inbuilt video editor we can add captions and annotations and do lot more other stuffs. Using this application we can easily record, edit and save the videos instantly. So let's check out how to do the screen recording and what are all the important features available in the video editor. So let's get started. As I mentioned before, we can click on free download link and demo creator will be downloaded automatically. Double click on the download file and then install the application with normal procedure. It will take a while to complete the installation. Once it is done, you can click on start over to launch the application. So this is the new user interface and we have new recording option and video editor option in this launcher itself. You can open any existing project file using this option below and all the project files will be listed here. So let's record our screen and then edit it using the inbuilt video editor. Click on new recording and now on this control window we need to click this red color circle to begin our screen recording. But before that let's check out few important settings. Using this drop down you can record your full screen or any specific portion of your screen. On the right side we can make use of these options to configure microphone, our computer web camera and even the system sounds. Let's click on settings to explore more. Under the screen section you can choose the frame rate until 120 fps which is unique in demo creator. Using below option you can easily record your games or presentation and set their frame rates. Under audio section you can set up computer or microphone sounds. Camera section is something new in this version and you can record yourself using web camera by configuring all these options. Under advanced section you can choose save directory of your recordings and choose the encoding quality. Finally we can customize the shortcut keys to start or stop and pause or resume our recordings. So with these settings let's click on capture to begin our screen recording. For demonstration purpose I will open the powerpoint application to design a vector art and record the same using clicking the red color record button. Our screen recording will start after this timer. I will speed up the process of designing this vector art and then press F10 key to stop the recording. Now we can see our screen recording will be automatically exported into video editor. So this is the new user interface of this updated version. Let's drag our screen recording into timeline to enable all the options. So on the left side is the effect options using which we can add captions, annotations, stickers and transitions into our videos. All these sections have been updated in this new version. Next to this is our project window which holds all our media files in one place. We can import more files using this option below here. At the middle is the preview window with controls at the bottom like play, stop and fast forward. It also shows the duration of your video file. At the bottom is the timeline where our all editing will happen. It has few controls on top like crop, split, add markers and zoom to fit. Zoom to fit feature is used to stretch our media file as per our timeline. Using this slider we can adjust the length of timeline. On the right side is the properties window and it will show the properties of media files that we are going to select under timeline. Say if I select the video file it will show its edit properties. Also in the timeline 
we see two separate files the one mentioned as microphone is audio file and the one with mp4 extension is the video file we can select either of these files and you can notice the properties will change accordingly let's select and delete the audio file and then start editing our video file if we browse through the captions we can find many beautiful openers have been included in this version similarly annotations have been updated with different categories like text lines and shapes new sticker animations have also been added into this version let's first drag and drop the caption onto our timeline we can select this caption and change its text and resize it as per our requirement similarly we can drag and drop annotations edit the text and resize it let's add a animated sticker and check its animation that looks pretty simple and beautiful to add the transition we need to first split our video let's split it at this position by right clicking and selecting split option now let's go to transition section and add a transition exactly at this section so that's how the transition looks like that's really cool let's create few more splits and check few more video editing features let's select this split screen and say for example we want to remove this red color portion from this section we can go to effects and then drag and drop green screen option onto this section green screen is a new super cool feature which is added into this updated version on right side properties window it shows green color by default we can make use of this eye dropper tool to select the red color from our video if we play this video we can see that red color portion has been removed similarly you can change the duration of any section by selecting it and increasing its speed under properties section we can see this section is now speeded up we can also scale the video file using the slider and increase or decrease the mouse pointer using cursor scale option last but not the least and my personal favorite is hotkeys if we enable it we can see hotkeys used during our recordings without any extra efforts super cool and super powerful we can select the size and what type of keys need to be displayed change their position and colors if we play this video now we can see the hot keys will be displayed on our video once we are done with the editing we can export our video using this option here we can select the output file format change the file name and the directory location we can also change few video properties like resolution and frame rate and similar properties for audio as well finally click on export to begin the export process so as we have seen demo creator is a high quality screen recorder and comes with lot of video editing features you can also find its free download link in the video description below i request all the viewers to provide your feedbacks and any improvement ideas on this wonderful application thanks for watching and stay tuned